to strength would mean something. But as that ball was in the air, David Robinson was already spinning to the baseline. Hello and welcome to Hoop Story. In this episode today, we'll be taking a look at the life and career of David the Admiral Robinson, one of the greatest players and centers in NBA history. Born in 1965 in Key West, Florida, David was raised in San Antonio, Texas. He grew up in a military family and moved around a lot as a child. From an early age, David had a passion for sports, playing basketball and football in school. In 1979, at the age of 14, David experienced a dramatic growth spurt that saw him grow from 5'9 to 6'8 in a matter of months. David soon became a star on the court, leading his high school team to a state championship in 1983. Soon after, he was awarded as the school's valedictorian for his academic prowess. After high school, Robinson attended the United States Naval Academy, where he continued to play basketball. He had a standout college career, earning two National Player of the Year awards and leading the Navy Midshipmen to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament. David Robinson's legacy goes far beyond his accomplishments on the basketball court. One of the most notable aspects of his career was his decision to serve in the United States Navy before joining the NBA. Robinson delayed his entry into the league for two years in order to fulfill his military obligation, a move that was both rare and admired. In the end, David Robinson's legacy is not defined just by his achievements on the basketball court, but also to his commitment to serving others and making a difference in the world. His decision to delay his NBA career to serve in the Navy is a testament to his character and his values and is just one of the many reasons why he will always be remembered as one of the greatest players and humanitarians in NBA history. There's not a whole lot I can say about drug abuse that hasn't been said before. You know drugs are killers. You know they can destroy a promising athletic career and ruin personal dreams and aspirations. So why haven't you learned to say no? I don't care if it's your friend or the big football player down the block who's offering you a chance to get high. Say no, that's all, say no and learn to feel comfortable saying it. It may just save your life. After all, you can't be a hit when you're high. David Robinson was selected with the first overall pick in the 1987 NBA draft by the San Antonio Spurs. He had an immediate impact in the league, averaging a whopping 24.3 points a game, 12 rebounds and nearly 4 blocks a game in his rookie season. He was named Rookie of the Year and earned a spot on the All-NBA First Team. Over the course of his career, David Robinson established himself as one of the greatest centers in NBA history. He was a 10-time All-Star, a 2-time NBA Champion in 1999 and 2003, a two-time Olympic gold medalist and the league MVP. Robinson is also known for donating millions of dollars to charity through his Carver Academy and the David Robinson Foundation. David Robinson retired from the NBA in 2003 after 14 seasons with the Spurs. He left the game as one of the most respected players in the league, known for his skill on the court and his character off of it. After retiring, David Robinson remained active in the San Antonio community and also pursued his interest in education, earning a master's degree in administration and management from the University of Incarnate Word 
and opened a private school in San Antonio. In conclusion, David Robinson's life and career is a testament to his dedication, hard work, and character. From his early days as a military kid, to his success on the basketball court, to his pursuits after retirement, David Robinson has left a lasting impact on the NBA and the world at large.